nifty and dollar uh, an english show with a hindi name hmm. super confusing but that's fine what do we do here we look at the price action of nifty bank nifty and dollar we look at the open interest analysis of nifty bank nifty and dollar we look at um, what's the thing F uh, uh, FII, DII data, and we try to figure out what the market is likely to do in the days to come. We also try to figure out what some possible scenarios and how to react to those scenarios. And we end the discussion by what kind of option strategies can we play for that um, whatever it is that we think will happen. Right now, of course, we start the day by talking about what we guessed last time. And we... Um, uh, end the day by uh, predicting what could happen next. Now, yesterday we said, yeah, signals are mixed. 18600 is a support. Um, Bank Nifty is mildly bullish. Nifty is uh, holding 18600, a little tricky. Gujarat elections, RBA policy, light positions better. No trading best is what we said. And we were bearish, sorry, bullish throughout this. And we thought it's probably a good idea to get out of the positions. So now let's look at... Uh, what next so if you look at nifty charts you can see one thing that nifty is testing the previous all-time high support that it broke out of last time so you can see that there is a tiny candle not too much volume today so that's a relief but it is toying with this line and it is almost closing below but i think there's a support at 18600 we'll see tomorrow if it is there or not bank nifty has been in this tiny channel and now it is testing the uh, bottom of the channel which is somewhere around here right so that is nifty that is bank nifty now let's look at uh, uh, open interest charts right so <laughs> Vijay is saying to come out gambling karo best in life will nifty make 1855 resistance here Wo pata nahi na. that is like a prediction we don't in, we are not into prediction business we are into reaction business so if you look at tomorrow's expiry <clears throat> this is tricky. This is bad <clears throat> for the market. Lot of calls added at 18600. So 18600 will be a tough uh, nut to crack. And 18600 has a lot of calls. 18600 has a lot of 700 has a lot of calls. So plenty of resistance. <clears throat> so option chain says plenty of resistance above 18600. Uh, looks uh, expiry likely below that eighteen six hundred is likely going to be expired why because if you look at the open interest charts today puts were unbound calls were added eighteen six hundred has a lot of resistance here eighteen there's no put resist support right it's all resistance six hundred seven hundred eight hundred everything has resistance so it looks pretty bad for me so tomorrow it doesn't make sense to be bullish now let's look at fi data fi data is also looking bad twenty two thousand calls sold nine thousand puts bought net net bearish and uh, even in stocks and derivatives both twelve hundred crores sell right so PCR is 0 0.6 bearish, 22k calls sold, 10k puts bought, both bearish, futures data 1200 crores sell bearish, this is also bearish, verdict is looks like tomorrow will be a red day but elections but does it really matter i mean i think everybody is predicting that gujarat will be a bjp victory right so does it really matter i mean like even if market really i mean even if bjp wins it's not like people will be surprised so i don't think there's a positive surprise in there but if there is a if the market, uh, if the results are not as good for BJP as people expect it to be, then market can have a negative this thing, right? Uh, Manu is saying nothing, just buffering. What is nothing? Uh, uh, Axis Bank, I'm just reading comments, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
all the data negative so short covering what if a short covering rally happens kevin that's a very good point it is a very high possibility because sabne yahan pe to call base ke build kar rakha hai agar halka sa bhi 18600 toot gaya to all these people will run for cover and that can trigger a massive short covering rally that's a very good possibility also so i agree with you right which is why i'm saying ki yaar in sab mein mat padho aaj chill maro kyu karoge ye sab so yeah i am very you know uh, split in my this thing on the one hand so trades yaar nahi karenge kyu karenge kal ka expiry ka trade karna hi nahi hai if you really want long time back we had talked about uh no no i think after that we said bull put put spread uske baad we said exit so it's best if we let this expiry go right i think um, this was a bad idea 6 december bull spreads but otherwise we have largely been selling calls throughout this week right mm. maybe it it's a maybe it's not a bad idea to pass because see i'll tell you why because if this middle of the line is broken and if it comes below it can correct all the way to maybe even 17800 types right bottom of the channel but i'm not sure if it will happen besides if you look at the weekly candles this is a bullish engulfing followed by confirmation uh, so technically technically bullish engulfing getting confirmed by a candle normally should create a rally right but i don't know if it is going to close above 18 no, that's going to be tough similarly in bank nifty a bullish engulfing candle followed by sorry um, bank nifty is weekly yeah this is also kind of bullish so and we have to still remember right we are still at the all time highest weekly close so even if there is a tiny dip it is going to be bottom so fundamentally what i'm trying to say is that we are at a buy on dip market there is no point in shorting at this point unless we see a reversal signal a strong um, downward spike followed by a, a sell on uptick opportunity right now market is still saying that mid term trend and long term trend is bullish ultra short term trend could have some bearishness but that's not enough to short the market it is still buy on dips so my view will still be 18500 to 18600 as long as it is held i'll still you know be on buy on dip side and uh, since you don't want to time the market so quickly with a weekly option i would suggest that if you have a bullish view a buy on dip view if market is between 8500 8600 please execute it using december end option so that your gamma is less right basically you won't lose much money uh because of fluctuations okay so multiple people are asking please look at oi for bank nifty let's look at nifty bank nifty oi also <laughs> Yeah, even this doesn't look very nice, right? But you have to understand one thing, right? Fundamentally, Bank Nifty doesn't have too much OI. So, forty-three one hundred pay. There's a lot of calls, but Bank Nifty overall it is split. Forty-three thousand has a lot of puts, but even then it is unmistakable that this is also looking like a bearish option chain. But jate jate, let us see what SGX Nifty is doing. Not that anybody cares what SGX. SGX Nifty is uh, positive actually. but let's see what happens tomorrow morning because election results anything can happen right so uh, as long as nifty is above 18500 600 zone by on dips with december end pull call spreads this is what i will do and you can see my position also my entire position is december and bull call spreads right <coughs> most of us saying technically p right c rate is stand p rate is exit yes yes that is correct right anyway 10 minute mark we wound up early today so this is our analysis for today whoa sorry dollar dollar <coughs> dollar we talked about this yesterday right we were saying that there could be some dip after yesterday's uh, cross the most likely outcome which i am thinking is that maybe you it will give you another entry at 82 spot to buy at around the 50 dma mark and after that we could see dollar going up again so dollar i am long term bullish i would use the opportunity if i get at 82 to buy here with a tight stop loss because this is above 50 dma right that is my dollar outlook okay so uh, vinish is asking a good question any plan to add to commodities in sense bhai sab vinish you are anyway gambling between 9 and 5 why you want to gamble till 12 in the midnight kya 
on a serious note yes, yes we are adding commodities we completed work for fin nifty and the ability to add any kind of option expiring at any time sometime today <clears throat> ATM, ATM, ATM at that moment, all that matters. How can I verify my PNL? Okay, <clears throat> I'll show you how you can verify my verify your PNL. So it's very simple. You can go to positions. Uh, you can click on share verified PNL. It will ask you to link Twitter. You can link. Oh, but I've linked this to some other random account. But basically link your Twitter and after that you, you can go to your desktop and then uh, click on this and that's your verified PNL. This is not my account. My account verified PNL is, you know, uh, shown somewhere else. Uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, testing account of Sensible's company, which is, you know, Riskilla Software Technologies. But anyway, that is our analysis for today. We'll see you again for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining. It's such a pleasure hosting you every evening. This completes my day. So till we meet again. Please uh, take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.